going on, Jerome's? So, yes, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, are in very good position to find their quarterback of the future long term, uh, whether it's May or Daniels or McCarthy or Penix or Nix or who the hell ever else uh, is available in the draft. The Vikings couldn't and should be selecting a, a gunslinger to lead the Vikings to a dozen Jerome Bardings in the next 10 years. But what about slinging Sam Darnold. That's right. The former number three overall pick in 2018, the pride of USC. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, Darnold hasn't quite panned out on that potential as of yet, but there's still some hope. There's a light in your eyes. Did you leave that light burning for me? That's right. And the Vikings, I mean, the Vikings could have stood pat because they had Nick Mullins under contract, and Mullins proved that he could uh, move the offense last year, two years with Kevin O'Connell. Jaron Hall. Despite the duck against the greasy Grammy Green Bay Packers. I mean, the more of a missile, failure to launch, who knows? Uh, or they could run it back with a passion knot. Probably not. But the Vikings, remember, they gave Sam Darnold some decent money. Like, like $10 million bucks. that ain't backup money. That is bridge quarterback money. And also, I mean, there was some demand for his services. Reportedly, the Broncos and the Raiders were definitely kicking the tires and lighting the fires. The Giants potentially as well. Uh, so Darnold was a wanted man. So this isn't just like, uh, the Vikings just gave $10 million to a third. Hmm, nah, not nonsense. And you know, Kevin O'Connell... You know, for, former quarterback himself, uh, he definitely sees the upside with Sam Darnold. Now, is this putting on a brave face just in case the Vikings get boxed out uh, in the draft for a quarterback? Sure, but also both things can be true at once. One, the Vikings will draft a quarterback. Two, they actually believe in Sam Darnold. And also, even if the Vikings maneuver up the draft for a quarterback of the future, like even if they, they uh, take one as high as three, there's a chance that Sam Darnold keeps that kid on the bench. Because he's playing some damn good ball. And Kevin O'Connell does see that. Uh, he was on uh, Paul Allen's uh, side pro project. And he said this about Sam Darnold. Quote, uh, it was limited tape from Sam Darnold's year in San Francisco. But I think he really got efficient with his lower half. Uh, he looked to me like he was in a true growth stage, even at this point of his career. And I saw a lot of good things that uh, when we were uh, when we are allowed to get out on the grass and start coaching these guys, Sam's going to be someone that I'm excited to work with. And I've always been a fan. I think quarterback environment is a huge thing. And of course, uh, you know Kevin O'Connell uh, knows a thing or two about quarterback environments, as uh, he was sort of ruined by the Jets. R -r -r ruined by the Jets. Of course, Slingin' Sam Darnold was as well, number three overall pick back in the day. Uh, even though he got to hang out with Josh McCown, which was fantastic, he had Adam Gase. His wide receiver one was Robbie Anderson. Carolina was no great shakes either, and he got mono. It's ridiculous, man. But, uh, yeah, with Darnold, it just it, it never clicked, and he was a player that came into the league and needed time to develop and probably would have benefited from sitting for a year, but that wasn't in the cards. Like, if you were the number three pick in the draft, especially with the Jets, uh, you, you're going to be forced on the field. That's exactly what happened. And, you know, Darnold, I feel like his bad habits at USC forcing the issue at times, overrating his arm, even though he does have a damn good arm. Uh, I think that bled over to the Jets, and I think it really uh, cemented some bad habits. Same thing with the Panthers. But, I mean, O'Connell, like O'Connell said, that, that one year in San Francisco, even though he was Brock Purdy's backup, that experience is going to be important because he actually had some grown-ups coaching him with Shanahan and company. And also, I mean, don't sleep on the experience of going through the playoffs, going to the Super Bowl, even, even as the backup. I mean, that, that's important. And I think that Darnold will carry that over to the Vikings. And also, let's not even forget. So, Sam, uh, 20, 2018 wasn't that long ago. Actually, kind of is. Anyways, uh, but uh, LanceOrlineNFL.com, th this was his draft report. Uh, and remember, we're going through like 17 bazillion draft reports right now. And this was Sam Darnold's from 2018. A draft projection, top three overall, which he was. NFL comp Andrew Luck. Overview. At the end of the day, Darnold has NFL size, arm strength, accuracy, pocket mobility, poise, and field reading capability. Sounds pretty good. Well, mm. That sounds good. I'll have that. Uh, his windup is an eyesore for sure, uh, but, but it's not like he's Byron Leftwich out there. Mm. Uh, but he has the velocity to mitigate the additional release time. Uh, while Darnold has the mental toughness and talent to start tomorrow, early sideline season could help him better process coverages and attempt to eliminate future interceptions. That's exactly what he needed with the Jets, and that's not what he got. Darnold has the tools to thrive in any system and doesn't have to have perfect protection to succeed. Buddy, you're in luck. Hmm. His floor is so, uh, is a solid starter, but he has a ceiling to be one of the top tier quarterbacks in the game as he gains more experience. And also, uh, like um, O'Connell alluded to, like he saw some progress last year, even though Darnold uh, is 
I mean, he, he is only 26. Like, he's going to be 27 in June. He's only 10 months older uh, than uh, Jaron Hall. He's only a couple years older than, I don't know, Bo Nix uh, at, at Michael Penix Jr. and whatnot. So, why not Darnold? Uh, again, everyone sort of laughed and scoffed when the Vikings threw, threw $10 million bucks at Sam Darnold. But I, I, I don't think that's a, such a big deal. And I, I think the Vikings truly do believe in Sam Darnold. And like we said, even if the Vikings are able to get into the stratosphere and get their guy, I mean, it's not a lock that they're going to start right away because Kevin O'Connell has been very, very uh, you know, adamant about how quarterbacks do need to develop. And as a quarterback himself, who probably needed some time to develop, like he, he is empathetic to the plight, and also he knows what needs to be done. And also Josh McCown as a quarterback's coach is a huge get. So even if the Vikings do trade up for a May or a Daniels or McCarthy or even stick a pick and get Penix or, or Knicks or whatever – I think that Sam Darnold could be that dude this year. And I'm pretty fired up, I'm not going to lie. Because remember, everyone and their mom saying that this is a great spot for a rookie quarterback. Everything applies to Sam Darnold as well. And again, like he was number three overall pick for a reason. Uh, the reason for him busting was not all on him. Because he's he's got, got progress with his lower half. But... As long as he doesn't get mono, I think that he could be something very interesting uh, going forward. Even though a lot of people don't agree. But F him. F him. That's all. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Kevin O'Connell believes in Sam Darnold at the end of the day. That's all that matters, man. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more to work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.